So I've got the paper, pencils. I just need to grab a few more things. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome to the clubhouse. Our friends Sammy and Tomas are getting ready to play pretend. They're going to be teachers and I get to be the student. So I was gathering some things that we'll need. Have you ever pretended to be a teacher? I used to pretend all the time when I was a kid and a teacher is something that I wanted to be. It's true. Hey, since I have you here, I think I have a little time to share another special person from our history with you. She was a teacher, but she was also the first African-American woman to graduate from high school in Omaha, Nebraska. Let's look at the vision board. This is Comfort Baker. Comfort Baker was born on February 15, 1870 in North Carolina. Sadly, by the time she was 13 years old, both of her parents had passed away and she became an orphan. Her aunt and uncle, Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks, adopted her and she moved to Omaha, Nebraska to live with them. Comfort was a great student. By 1885, she was in eighth grade at Central Grade School, and that same year, she was honored in the local newspaper, the Omaha Daily Herald, for never missing a day of school the entire time she went there. But this same year, Comfort suffered the loss of her uncle, and with her aunt going into a hospital for care, Comfort became homeless. Homeless is a word you use when someone doesn't have a place to call their own home. Because of this, Comfort got a job working as a maid and to be able to support herself while she went to school. During her high school years, she attended Omaha High School. But Comfort wasn't only a student. Comfort also worked as a writer for a black newspaper called The Enterprise, and she also volunteered to be a secretary for a new St. Philip's Episcopal Church at that time. By 1889, Comfort quit working as a maid and she lived with different African-American families in the city as she focused on the rest of school. She graduated this same year, which made her the first ever African-American woman to graduate from high school in Omaha. She was top three in her class and she even gave a speech at her graduation. Comfort wanted to go to a college in Tennessee to become a teacher, but she didn't have any money. But luckily, a math teacher who taught her at Omaha High School named Bell H. Smith cared enough to pay for her to go to college at Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. She graduated college in 1893 and began teaching at Fred Douglas High School in Casa Cana, Texas, which was the first school to serve black students from Dallas, Texas. Over time, she taught seventh and eighth grade at Frederick Douglass Grammar and High School in El Paso, Texas. After she married her husband, Reverend Allen Caldwell, in 1917, he moved her to his home state of Arizona and they lived in Phoenix. Comfort became the first African-American teacher at the Phoenix, Arizona School District. However, during this time, schools became separated and black people could only go to school in two small areas cut off from the main school. Thanks to Comfort and all of her success, she eventually led the state to build a brand new building specifically for them, and it would be the only high school in the state of Arizona that was built because of the separation of African-American students. There's no doubt that Comfort Baker Caldwell was an amazing woman. In her lifetime, she taught for 52 years, and she had a lot of firsts. First African-American female to graduate from Omaha Public Schools, first African-American teacher at Phoenix Public Schools, first African-American principal at Phoenix Public Schools, and the founder of the only school for African-American students in Phoenix. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any official acknowledgement in Omaha for all of her accomplishments Comfort Baker achieved, but that doesn't mean that she wasn't important. Teachers are some of the most important people in our lives, and teachers like Comfort Baker made a difference in hundreds of lives of children in the communities that she served. And you know what? Maybe one day you can become a teacher and help the many students who could use your help. You never know where pretending and following your dreams might lead you. Oh, well, I better get back to Sammy and Tomas. <laughs> Thank you for learning with me. I'll see you next time.